Hi guys and welcome to this other exciting session in which we are going to look at the Onyx format of representing machine learning models. Onyx actually stands for Open Neural Network Exchange. This open standard for machine learning interoperability was co-developed by Microsoft, Facebook and AWS. And in this session, we'll learn how to convert our already trained PyTorch model into this Onyx format and then carry out inference on this our newly created Onyx model. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification button so you never miss amazing content like this. So we've gotten to this point where we've trained and evaluated our model using the PyTorch framework. But then as you might already know, PyTorch is just one out of a whole lot of other frameworks which exist out there. Now it may happen that you are already a paddle paddle or say a TensorFlow expert developer and you do not really want to start retraining a YOLO X model from scratch. And so what you want to do here is get this model which was already trained in the PyTorch framework and then somehow make use of that model in TensorFlow. So what we'll do here or what we'll use here will be the Onyx model format where we are going to convert this PyTorch into the Onyx format and then thanks to its interoperability make use of this here in TensorFlow. Another reason why a developer will want to say take this model from PyTorch and make use of it say in Cafe for example maybe because that model is more efficiently run in this other framework. And the reason why we have these kinds of differences for different frameworks is because for example you could have a convolutional neural network or a convolutional layer which is built in PyTorch with a certain implementation and the implementation in CAFE may be slightly different and may be more efficient as compared to that which was done in PyTorch. Now this is just for demonstrative purposes and we are not saying that uh, the implementations in CAFE are better than those in PyTorch. And so in summary the Onyx format allows models to be represented in a common format that can be executed across different hardware platforms using the Onyx runtime. And so this gives developers the freedom to choose any framework like in this case PyTorch for the given task and the confidence to run those models on any platform of their choice since now they could convert these models to the Onyx format, which makes use of the Onyx runtime, which in fact is an inference engine, which is lightweight and modular and permits us run our Onyx models on just any hardware we choose to work with. So here, yeah, let's look at the list of supported hardwares. You see, for example, the Tensor RT, which is very popular with the NVIDIA GPUs and permit us to attain very high speeds when carrying out inference on neural network models. Another advantage of working with the Onyx format is the fact that it's quite easy to use. So like here in the PyTorch documentation, you see how to create this model, which in fact is an AlexNet model. And then after defining the inputs and the outputs, we are able to generate our Onyx model with just this one line right here. Now we're going to get back to the code and start by exporting our model here. We have this PyTorch model. We're going to export that to the Onyx format. Here you could check out the model and the weights. So you have this here. So here we have export onyx.py file. As usual, we have our yellow XVOC nano.py file. We have the output name here. We're gonna start this in this weights here file. Uh, weights directory and the and the name is best yellow X nano.onyx. So that's it. Now let's run the cell and see what we get. There we go. 
click open this and you have this file here notice how this is now 3.51 megabytes while this is 7.34 megabytes so there's been some optimization while creating the onyx model before moving on we're gonna download this model let's download this model and then come to this app here netron.app um, it's been created by Lutz Rudder and it permits us visualize our onyx models very easily so what I'll do here is simply pick this here see it's loading that model and there we go so this is our model right here you could drag this right to the end you could visualize your full model here so here you see we have the outputs and then let's let's get back up you can see that the images are 416 by 416 exactly as we had specified in the yolo nano.py file then this full model can be seen as a graph where we have the inputs like here we have the inputs and then we also have the output and then we have these different nodes which are in fact these different operators here although you could also create your own custom operators in onyx here you could see that we are making use of this operators like the conf the sigmoid multiplication and so on and so forth and it's a combination of all these operations which produce this output we have here also notice that up to this point here we have the backbone so let's scroll and get up it's here we have the backbone up to the end and then once we get to this point we have the different heads so you could see this different heads right here which are then combined at the end to produce the outputs now in this assets here we have uploaded this knows this demo.jpg right here we've all this is what was there before so we've uploaded this image and we are going to run inference with the onyx model right here you just specify this onyx inference file which is in this demo uh, onyx runtime directory then you have the weights and then you have your image so here we're also going to put in the config uh, threshold the confidence threshold and then we'll specify the input chip so let's run this and see what we get so once this is run you get into this here into this demo um you see uh, you have this demo.jpg file and open it up you have the sunglass jacket shirt pants bag shoe and shoe see that this year isn't quite correct as it should have picked just this one but uh, overall the model does quite well and so with this we've just seen how to make use of or how to convert our model from the pytorch model to a more lightweight onyx model with just these two commands right here